The whole point about the airport is not so much the airport itself, but the people that have been here. Dr. Robert Henry Wisner III is lost in thought as he gazes over the runway that has seen so much history fly in and out of Mineola's Wisner Field. 1917 is when the first plane landed here. It was used by the military, and it's been in continuous use ever since. The Wisners live nearby, and his dad, Henry, was in awe as the Curtis Jenny biplane flew overhead. He was out farming and saw the first plane land here, and he just fell in love with flying and stayed in flying for the rest of his life. Henry joined the Army Air Corps and later worked for a flying service. Well, after World War I, they had a bunch of pilots had been trained. They didn't need them anymore. They were all laid off from the service, but they loved flying. So what they did was basically buy surplus airplanes and go traveling around the country selling rides. Most people had never ridden in a plane. In the late 1920s, pilots started doing aerobatics called barnstorming and created their own Royal Flying Circus. Then they started doing wing walking, where they would climb out on the wings of the plane. Famous aviators came through Mineola, including East Texas native Wally Post, who was the first pilot to fly solo around the world. Started out in barnstorming, and then he'd come here and became friends with my father. In 1931, Henry crashed his plane with it landing upright. It crashed, um, he was lucky, he didn't get seriously hurt in it got banged up some. They took the engine out of it, the instruments out of it, the things that could be salvaged. And I've got a picture of it where basically after that was all done, they just took matching some gasoline, set it on fire and burned it up. It was made out of wood and it wasn't worth taking back to the airport. Taking a stroll through the small museum brings back memories for Robert. Items include the flight log books and his dad's original Jenny. The Jenny itself was a common training plane back in World War I. They turned out thousands of them. Not all the history here is in aviation. This old 1914 Model T transported the pilots from the airfield to Mineola. There's also a plane used by the flying school. All the pilots at one time or another got uh, some flying time in this. Some planes required maintenance during the flight. Well, it would fly off the valves there in the air, it'd blow off the valves, and after about an hour, I guess, you had to re-oil them. Then you basically had to oil them while you were in flight. Almost 100 years since that first flight, the airport is still open for business. I'm hoping that um, as general aviation continues, so will wise in the field. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith, and that's my story.